I've got brand new products from Wrong Wrong Devo that you won't want to miss. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And this is a huge new release from Wrong Wrong Devo. There are so many goodies in this release that I don't even have all of them right here, but I cannot wait to show you what I do have. So if you're interested in checking out these new products, we have five PET tapes, three sticker packs, three sticker books, and a notebook. Stay tuned. All right, so all of these goodies release on April the 19th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, there are these goodies, and like I said, I think there's a couple more that are not here in this stack, but I can't wait to share them with you. So we're going to start with the PET tapes and work our way through. Let me just scoot these over the side. The PET tapes, if you are wondering what a PET tape is. It's kind of like, it's like a sticker, like it's just like a sticker, but it's on a really vibrant uh, background. So let me open up these PET tapes and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's check out the new PET tapes. Also, just a reminder, I have an affiliate link down in the description box below. Um, when you use that link, it saves you 10% on your order, automatically applies at checkout. So make sure to use that link to save yourself a little extra. All right, this one is called Coffee Culture. And are you kidding me? Look at all of these gorgeous coffee images, all the espresso, all the different ways of making coffee. I am here for, look at the machine, like the old school diner coffee machine. This is so darn cute with a coffee shop. Okay, so basically you get like a yard of stickers, you guys. This is how this works. These are all individually cut stickers on this beautiful matte finish sticker paper. And I think they are so, oh, this one is so good. I like the different, the different types that are represented. All right, so that one is coffee culture. That's probably gonna be my favorite. I guess we'll kind of see uh, what comes afterwards, but I love that one. This one is super cute. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. This one is called house plants. And I say it all the time, I cannot keep actual plants alive, but I am here for the house plant stickers because it's so much low, uh, it's low pressure. Low pressure maintenance on your houseplants when you have them in sticker form. Look at all of the different types. You can kind of build your own scenes. Those are so, so cool. And again, it's like a yard of stickers before the pattern starts to repeat. They're all individually cut. So it makes it very easy to use these in your journaling, in your planning, in your bullet journals. That has been really popular recently. So that is fantastic. So we have coffee culture house plants. This one I believe is called summer aesthetic. Wait, yes, this one is summer aesthetic because you have all the different like clothing items as well. You get definitely summer florals, but I like that the fashion is kind of mixed in loving this bicycle, that is beautiful. This looks like um, watercolor, like done on watercolor paper, which is new and different. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of like the people without the head or the legs. That's just my opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of those, but I think some of the other stickers on this set are absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love the variety. And it definitely has that summer feel. It feels like Hawaii. That's for darn sure. It has the tropical feel. So if you've got a trop tropical vacation coming up, this one might be perfect for you. And what I love about the PET tapes is you get this big long roll. You don't have to hoard your stickers at all. You have so many of them. If you're a card maker and you like making multiples of the same card, those are absolutely perfect. This one is called, um, let me double check, Floral Kiss. Floral kiss watercolor set floral kiss water so these are all look watercolor-esque 
beautiful purple florals, which you all know are some of my favorites. And I love all these edge stickers actually, because I think they're so easy to pop on a journaling page, especially in my bullet journal, just to make it really easy to put together a spread. That's a gorgeous aesthetic with the purples and then the peaches is a beautiful summer feel for those flowers, which I absolutely love. And then the next set is also florals. This one is called Wildflower Watercolor. And what I love about these are the colors. You guys, it's bright, it's fun, it's happy. If you are a floral lover, I mean, come on. This would be great for cards. That's like the card making I feel like it's so good. If you like memory decks cards, these are sized so well for those. They're just really, really pretty. They're fun to collect and to work with. And like I said, the best part is you get so many of each sticker that it you don't have to feel intimidated. You can like sticker to your heart's content and really enjoy them all. So those are the five PET tapes that I received. I, You guys, the coffee one, come on. That has got to be my favorite, probably followed by the house plants, and then I think I'm gonna go with the wildflower watercolor. I think those are absolutely beautiful. So those are my top three for sure. Let me know down below which PET tape was your favorite of the new ones, which one caught your eye. Um, drop a comment down below. Along with the PET tapes, there's also a new notebook, a Black Girl Magic notebook. You can see it has black plastic discs with it. Here is the back says wrong wrong the inside cover beautiful abstract and then it has three tabbed dividers I am worthy beautiful and then you have this dot grid and it has a little bit of abstract art down the spine same thing on the back so it mirrors each other it's a really wide dot grid which makes it easy if you have bigger handwriting I think it just makes makes it flow a little bit easier all right, so that is all dot grid. Here is the second divider, Own Your Magic. Love that. Back of the divider, these are great. Reusable dividers, I'm always here for that. And Embrace Your Journey. And here's the back. What a beautiful little notebook. I love that. Love that, love that, love that. Okay. Awesome. That is the brand new Black Girl Magic Notebook. I believe there's also a new journal that is being released as well. So be sure to check that out. Then we have six sets of new sticker books. Three are new sticker packs and sticker books. Three sticker books and three sticker packs. I am going to start with the sticker pack. Okay. Let's jump into Nurse, a Nurse Planner sticker pack. Sticker pack. So for all of my nurse friends, these are so fun because these nurses have it going on. Love the sticker packs because it's like a little sampling of the stickers without having to invest in a whole sticker book. How cute is she? I love it. Get it done with the band-aid. In a world of princesses, be a nurse. That is awesome. Need a nurse? Be patient. Nursing is a work of heart. Superheroes wear scrubs. Oh, look at all of the Band-Aid stickers, you guys. How cute is that? Love those in my nurse era. I love the color scheme she chose too, with the pinks and the reds. Nurses call the shots. Those are really cool. All right, here are the decorative stickers. All those were on white sticker paper. These are on clear sticker paper. You have your scrubs, your Crocs, all of the nursing gear. Perfect for Nurse Appreciation Week that is coming up. I believe that's in May. Oh, that's so cute. And look at these nurses. They are everything. I love them all. Look how sweet they are. Oh, so fun. Maybe if you have like a medical planner, these would be cute too, even if you aren't a nurse. Or if you're a caretaker and you are feeling like a nurse, that might be absolutely perfect as well. That one is super cute. So that is the nurse planner sticker pack. Then you have, she added a new, oh my gosh, you guys. 
Okay, so Rom Rom has been doing these uh, city-themed sticker packs. She's done Chicago, she has done Dallas, and now we have New York, which is adorable. I can't wait. Okay, this is all about New Welcome to New York, our little Taylor Swift lookalike. Friends, get it done. She picks such great colors. I just love it. Central Perk, like living her best life on... New York Avenue, Fashion Avenue, Fifth Avenue. Oh, those are adorable. Oh my gosh, if you're going on to New York for a trip or you live in New York, yes, for the Rockettes. Anything is possible. This is New York. This is giving Carrie Bradshaw vibes up here, and I'm here for that as well. Here for that New York state of mind. You guys, how fun is this? Look at the decorative ones. You got the New York Giants logo. Love the Metro card, the taxis, Empire State Building. Oh my goodness. How sinking cute. But yeah, this is definitely Carrie Bradshaw vibes. Love it. Also, so several of my patrons have been doing these vacations in their planners where they just kind of decorate for a vacation destination they wish they were going to and kind of live vicariously through their stickers and their planners, which I think is so fun. Like planning your own trip to New York, even if you're not actually going, but just kind of doing it in your planner. That is so cute. I love New York. Of course she needs that one. Oh, these are adorable. This might be my favorite city ones yet. I loved the Dallas ones, of course, because they were very much go wild, had some cowboys, and I'm from Dallas. But uh, this one I am very much all about. I can totally see myself using, using those stickers. That's beautiful. Okay. And then the last sticker pack uh, with this release is the Ballerina Premium Sticker Pack, which I'm pumped to see. Oh, I can already tell it's going to be so cute. Okay. Here's our functional stickers. Ballet is like dreaming on your feet. Oh, if you just love ballet, maybe you were a dancer. Maybe you always wished you were a dancer like I wish I had danced. Dance to your own rhythm. Fluff out your tutu and keep dancing. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I love it. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Her toe shoes right there with the swans. Yes. Love that there's dancers of all sizes. I'm here for that. Dance to your own rhythm. This just brings a smile to my face. She leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. Oh, if you love ballet, this one is absolutely, oh, look at the music box. These are beautiful. Oh, look at her with the florals mixed in. Yes, please. Yes, for all of these dancers. Oh, and then the little girls. Those are so pretty with the toe, toe shoes. With all of the phrases. Oh my goodness, okay. Sticker packs. I love them. Okay, my favorite's got to be New York just because I can see myself using that one pretty soon. I love the ballerina. The nurses one it seems so special. And I love that through the sticker packs, you're able to like create custom spreads for some of the special people in your life, which I think is pretty amazing. So, three new sticker packs and also three new full sticker books. Let's check those out. All right, there are three new sticker books releasing. We have Fantastical, Live in the Moment, and Junk Journaling. Let's start with Fantastical. This reminds me of some of the PET tape that she released earlier this year. This is going to be, like it sounds, very fantasy themed, super whimsical. This is kind of screaming a little bit Halloween, October-esque to me. This is most definitely a particular style, but if this style speaks to you, then you have probably been dying for these stickers. Like, oh my gosh, this one is so 
they're just so different. I love when you see sticker books, sticker releases that are different. The ones you haven't seen before, how this is giving me Willy Wonka vibes too. Like, come on, you can do a whole Willy Wonka theme with these little houses. Look at the, and this is one is all candy. That's cute. Oh, with the elephant. The houses are fun. Oh, the people. This is like a fairy tale. Oh, more fairy tale. Oh, the Wicked Witch. How interesting. It's, it's a vibe for sure. And it's a very different type of vibe than what we've seen. Love the cakes. And there have been, like I said, there have been PET tapes that were released with the same vibe and some of these same images. And I find them fun to kind of mix and match. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, how dreamy. That writing desk. This sticker? I'm here for that. Oh, these are gorgeous. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, the color. Look at the floral border right here. That's very pretty. The colors on this one, all the threads, like a seamstress shop. Here we have ocean feels. So there's definitely different um, groupings within this book, but it all has the same kind of style. Oh, how cute for like a kid spread, pirate themed. Oh my goodness. It feels very magical, whimsical, fantastical, which is what it is called. It's a whole vibe. And I think it is so fun and different. Oh, this one definitely has Halloween vibes with the gravestone and the pumpkins. Ooh, Christmas vibes. How fun. All right, I feel like this book is kind of polarizing. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know, which group are you in? Because I kind of feel like you're, you're in one or the other. You either love it or you're like, that is a thousand percent not my style. These were all paper stickers, by the way. That's a little bit different for Wrong Wrong, but all of these are paper stickers. I kind of love it. I probably wouldn't use the people as much, but I love these scenes. I think the houses and the scenes are so interesting and different but I don't see myself using the little people quite as much. That's, that's kind of where I fall on the fantastical sticker book, but pretty cool. Definitely different, which I think is neat. Okay. Then we have live in the moment. Now we're getting back into wrong, wrong illustrations, which I love, but how could you live and have a, have no story to tell live in the moment. We'll have to kind of pick up what the vibe of this one is. It feels very glamorous, black, white, gold. I intend to make my own way in this world. Make your life extraordinary. Love the different style boxes. Today I will. Ooh, this definitely has, I don't know. My darling, you are poetry. That definitely like is feeling Taylor Swift. If we were villains, how interesting. This does have like this glamorous journaling vibe. I'm in love with those bullet points that look like the brass. I am creating the life of my dreams. It's all been on white sticker paper so far. Never get tired of trying and never think it is impossible to conquer your fault. Interesting. This is very empowering for sure. Love the clusters. You all know Wrong Wrong has started creating these cluster stickers recently and I'm here for them because I think they make it really easy to put together a spread. When you live in the moment, you won't miss a thing, but how could you live and have no story to tell? Oh, I find this really interesting. Oh, I love the word, Fetty. Collect beautiful moments. You were made to do hard things. I intend to make my own way in this world. What's coming is better than what is gone. It's okay to be okay. Or it's going to be okay. 
I'm creating the life of my dreams. Love that. Love the word, Betty. Here's these full page stickers. So we have one full page sticker. I have the tendency to tear these and use them in my journaling. How oh, interesting. I'm just like trying to soak in the vibe of this book. I find it intriguing. Like, come on, if you were doing a murder mystery spread, don't you feel like this has that vibe too? It's empowering and beautiful and really interesting. This one's cool. Like her hand-drawn girl on a photo background. Love these elements too. Yes. Those are so cool. Be obsessed with your own potential. Fight for your fairy tale. My darling, you are poetry. Find beauty in the little things. Live in the moment. This is very cool. This is different. At first, I thought this was going to be like a girl boss kind of thing, and it might be. It's like an empowering woman, glamorous. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I like it. So, we have two very different types of sticker books so far and I'm here for the variety. I think you can pick stickers that are kind of fitting your mood at the moment. Um, the last sticker book I had to share I know is going to be really popular because junk journaling has become so popular and this is a way to make it really easy. This is the junk journaling premium sticker book. So you're just going to get all of these elements that are easy to blend, put together all stickers. They are on white sticker paper to blend and create your own junk journaling pages. I think these will mix really well, especially with some of the PET tapes. If you have some of the PET tapes of some of your favorite wrong, wrong girls that you're wanting to use over and over again, these are the elements to mix and match with those. And now you have lots of the repeated elements that go together and create some really unique spreads. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love the film strip. This is fun. These are cool to put together. It already has that torn paper look, that worn vintage look, so you don't have to do it yourself. Get the florals mixed in, kind of like pressed flowers that you would find in a book. Oh, look at those bullet points. That's cool. This has kind of, of a warmer feel with these florals. Okay. I see you. Oh, I love these too. The frames are so fun. Like for decorative boxes to change it up and not be just a perfect rectangle or a perfect square. I think this one will mix really well with both of the other books, kind of depending on which direction you want to go in. This is awesome. Oh, I like the tags, especially all the different shapes. I'm here for different shapes. I find them interesting. Those are cool. These have all been paper stickers so far. I think this one is probably all going to be paper stickers, which is fabulous because then you can write on top of those. So cool. Yes. And yes. Oh, I love it. Okay. So do you see what I mean? Like if you, I kind of would put them, like you could pick elements from here, mix well with here. You could pick elements from here. It would mix well. In. I like how they kind of could all flow together. Now, I don't think these two go together, but I think you could pair these two and I think you could pair these two, which is interesting to me. And I'm super excited to give them a try. All right, so that is a ton of new products. Like I said, releasing April the 19th, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to check out my link down below to save on your order. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a very quick plan with me to show you how I'm going to use some of these products. Let's do it. 
I decided to go with the junk journaling book, which I'm sure is no shock because I love that whole vibe. So I went with the junk journaling book and then I was going to combine it with the fantastical book, but I ended up going with coffee culture PET tape because it's a busy week on this particular week. Um, so I was going to be having all of the coffee and I decided to just celebrate that in my planner. This is my creative journal planner. So this is where I write kind of thoughts, things that went down that day, just, um, just random little musings, you might say. So these types of books are perfect for that. I'm going to do a mix of the frames with the PET tape. Look how beautifully they go together. One of the things I love about this PET tape is that it is so very opaque. So when you are layering pieces, even with these paper stickers, they, it covers so well. The uh, printing on this PET tape, really vibrant, really fun. And like I said, I love that these are kind of a different feel. I think Rong Rong does the junk journal um, look very well. She has a great eye for bringing those images together and curating them in a sticker book like she did with the junk journaling sticker book. And then I love how the coffee kind of pops off of that. It looks like you're just in this little vintage coffee shop, um, having a cup of coffee, having a latte and writing in your journal. How dreamy is that? I was all about it. And I like uh, bringing that vibe into my planner. For my creative journal planner, I do a mix of large boxes where I write some of the bigger events of the week, or sometimes I write an inspirational quote or a verse that is kind of striking me in the moment. I do that in the lined sections. That's where I kind of just write what is happening on that particular day, you know, some rundown of the events of the day or a funny story from the day. It's not a ton of writing, but it's just enough to be a little reflection, almost like a diary, but I don't know. It's a, it's a different mix. And I like the limited space actually, because it just feels less intimidating. It's kind of a mix between having a full on bullet journal, a full on creative journal, and just giving yourself a little space to write the uh, musings of the day. Plus, I happen to love having another planner spread to decorate. I think it's fun and I love creating these little clusters. Look how pretty that one is. Oh, I just, I'm here for those frame stickers. I have always said I could use a whole book of all of her junk journaling elements that we've seen come across in Bookworm and in some of her fall sticker books. And I am beyond excited to have one. In fact, I will most likely be picking up a second copy because I can just see that I'm going to be using this a lot. I have a feeling that several of my patrons are going to want custom planner spreads with these elements. So I think they are so, so beautiful. As I wrap up this spread, if you liked this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much when you are subscribed to the channel. Let me know down in the comment section below which of the new release items kind of caught your eye. Which one did you think was out of the park? I loved the coffee PET tape. I love the junk journal elements. I love a lot of it. Um, like I said, I'm into when things feel a little bit different and I think this is a very different release for Rong Rong and I'm really excited to see um, where she goes from here. Don't forget the release April the 19th the link and is down below. If you use my affiliate link that does save you on your purchase. So make sure to grab that link and bookmark it uh, for your future shopping. All right. I want to give a special shout out to my Patreon members. Uh, you all are the best. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. I hope that all of you have an absolutely fabulous day and as always keep it creative.